Hi everyone, it is August 21, 2020. This is a warning video to all who live on the coast. The Gulf states, if you live on the coast, you live on the coast, either side of Florida, up the east coast, I'll get to the California fires in another video. Frankly, I have been so overwhelmed and so I don't know what to say anymore. They are using weather as a weapon. They have really ramped up using weather as a weapon 2020. Wasn't it Trump who said the storm, something about a storm? Oh, wait and see. You'll see what's coming. I can't remember verbatim. Well, we've got a lot of storms taking place all over. Weather being used as a weapon has increased. It has escalated to a point that it is overwhelming what is taking place. And if you can put your home on the market and move, I really um, strongly suggest you consider doing just that. So this is what took place. This was taken from Louisiana. This is the Gulf of Mexico. So, <laughs> it wasn't only the three big water spouts, but you had other water spouts developing. And there was a huge one in South Florida. This was just a couple of days ago. So, those of you who know that man is using weather as a weapon, if you live in these areas where you can get hit by hurricanes or now water spouts, um, flooding, it's only going to get worse from here. We cannot stop this at this late date when so many people have been posting on weather being used as a weapon and so many have provided all of their research, the evidence that man is using weather as a weapon at 2020 now. Okay. I don't know what to say about Americans, but they're not acting in ways that demonstrates that they are taking measures to protect themselves. You guys who are awake, the time is running out. this now. All right, everyone. Good Friday morning. Fox 35 meteorologist Jamie King. 35 weather center. I want to update you now. We are tracking the tropics. Again, our two areas of concern pretty close to home, especially depression 14. We got depression 13 still east of the Windward Islands. Track on both latest from the National Hurricane Center suggesting both will become a hurricane and possibly two hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico at the same time simultaneously early next work week. Crazy stuff. Cat 1 hurricane again skirting west of Florida Tuesday at 2 a.m. Winds at 75. The other one closing in on maybe Galveston Bay, Texas around the Houston area as we get to your Wednesday at 2 a.m. Winds on that feature down to about 50 miles per hour. So again, we continue to track it all live from the 35 Weather Center. Full comprehensive coverage on Good Day Orlando and of course on the Orlando Sentinel weather platforms. Two hurricanes coming to hit the United States at the same time. They are going to keep us very busy. Very busy. So, that you now have to look forward to. So, it says here, all right, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, right here, Wednesday. 
Wednesday, Wednesday. Looks like they're going to be attacking the entire Gulf Coast. Now, whether or not these hurricanes actually develop, whether they do the damage or do minimal damage, well, you know someone is going to get impacted. And frankly, I don't care. You know, it seems like a whole lot of people think, you know, it's only important if thousands get impacted. Well, clearly not, because I've been looking at my uh, subscriptions, you know, those that I subscribe to, and hardly anyone is posting on the fires. And you want to talk impacted? Look at California right now. You want to look impacted? Look at all of the flooding that has been taking place almost on a daily basis throughout the East Coast, mid-central United States. Uh, but now we, we, you know, there's the fires, Colorado, there's a fire in Utah, Arizona, um, Oregon, and California. But that's another video. All right two hurricanes coming in <laughs> well look you can look at my playlist weather modification to see um, how they can create cyclones or hurricanes earthquakes tornadoes water spouts um, all of the severe weather that we have been having is created by man. I'm going to play a few minutes of this video that was posted years ago, years, 2018, that I posted it, that, well, I think it was a year before, I'm not sure. Storm surges artificially created, coastlines under attack, and planned retreat. This is Deborah Tavares, who I got a comment from a subscriber that said Deborah Tavares has asked for prayers. Deborah lives in California where the fires are. Wow. Not quite sure what's going on with me, but I am near tears. All right. So, yeah. Prayers. Not just for Deborah and her family, but... Well, the amount of homes that have already been destroyed. Over 100 and many more to go. Okay. Um, Deborah Tavares. On... Granada Forum, help get this information out far and wide. Because what you are going to hear next is something that is just going to boggle your minds as it did our research team. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is artificially engineered storm surges and artificially engineered sea level rise. And this has all been by informed consent. We've all agreed to the climate action plans. And we're going to talk about that because we know for a fact that geoengineering, a.k.a. weather weapons, is the deliberate large-scale manipulation of the Earth's climate that is creating the climate changes and the reason behind all the climate action plans and resilient plans adopted in every city, town, village, state, country, and nation throughout the world. These are climate action plans and resilient plans. For all of you that are listening, you need to type in and find out what your plan is in your area. That plan will outline the type of weather events that you are going to experience because they're creating them. So for an example, uh, I would type in Santa Rosa, California, climate action plan and resilient plan. 
and I would find a couple hundred page document at least that would outline uh, the types of, of um, weather assaults we're going to have and uh, what we're going to be required to do about that is to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. But tonight we're talking about something far more sinister, far more serious that is now uh, revealing itself. And um, I'm going to go over that now. We have a military takeover, a global military takeover. And we have found documents. It's entitled Military Expert Panel Report, Sea Level Rise and the U.S. Military's Mission. Now, this is of all branches of the military globally. So the question is, what do we do when all branches of the military, all government agencies, all departments, all officials and offices exist in a de facto status in name only? What do we do? We know that the United States federal government was dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act of March 9th of 1933. Declared and 19. 33, 33, ah, that fabulous number. All right, you can click on the link below if you have not listened to this video. I hope that you circulate it, and I really do hope that all of you take very seriously what is being said here. This war, whether being used as a weapon, will only escalate now. Is it only coastal, uh, those who, have, who live on the coast that should worry? No, because we are seeing now hurricanes that develop inland. They call them derechos. Um, we are seeing magnificent flooding that is taking place in non-flood zones and the fires of course but please if you can put your home on the market and sell it fast and get out I really do think that you need to start considering just that because this is only going to get worse and when you look at these insurance sites you know the blogs on insurance sites this one's insurance litigation group property claim attorneys tropical depression 13 forms with florida in its path uh, strong storms hit central florida as hurricane season continues that was august 19 yesterday or two days ago posted just yesterday afternoon intense storms ran through central florida causing consequential damage specifically in the land, flooding, as well as other issues occurred. Power outages, power lines down, trees falling. Okay, so uh, did you know that Central Florida was hit with strong storms? I bet a whole lot of you didn't. I didn't until I did some research. Now, you might also want to take a look at these sites that post these articles climate change impacts on coastal real estate real real estate value your homes I don't know if it's happened to you already but they will depreciate in value and if you are someone who has been flooded once flooded twice and more flooding you will lose your insurance your flood insurance if you do not take measures that are so costly like raising your home which uh, can cost anywhere from twenty thousand to eighty thousand dollars how many people have that money and if you don't take these mitigation measures you won't get insurance and what happens when you don't get insurance well you have to have home insurance in order to have a mortgage now there are some states where 
you don't have to have flood insurance. You can have home insurance and keep that mortgage. But you get flooded. What are you going to do? Do you have the money to repair, to restore your home? Um, and look, property taxes go up in areas of flood risk, which now is a large portion, portion of the United States. You don't have to be flooded ever, ever, to suffer the consequences. If your community is a flood risk, your property taxes go up, you may be told at one point you have to uh, implement these mitigation measures and you can check out the FEMA website and they have an awful lot of information on these mitigation measures and if you don't you've never been flooded okay but if you don't take these measures then you're not going to get flood insurance um, it's already impacting so many people. The, the values of real estate on the coast, the East Coast, my having looked at South Carolina and North Carolina and on up, you know, Virginia and the coastal areas, their homes have already depreciated. And the cities and towns in those areas that I just mentioned have not done anything to mitigate the flooding from the ocean. They've done nothing. So those homes and those property owners are, well, rather furious that they have not done a thing. Well, guess what? They will not do anything because the whole agenda for the world, but the United States, is to destroy, to bring about a world for the select few that have a whole lot of money. They are reshaping the world. And this is one method in which they do it. Whether they want you out of your homes, they want them destroyed. So you could take a look at this here. Increased flood risk has major impacts on property value, insurance, property taxes. Uh, not just individual properties that have been flooded, but those who just live in those communities that are at risk of flooding. Streets, neighborhoods, communities are all faced with the damage. The most at-risk cities are forced to invest in adaptation and resilience to sea level rise. Miami is already spending $200 million in flood protection measures such as raising sidewalks and roads, installing water pump stations and building seawalls. Okay, um, a whole lot of people believe still in this climate change fraud. The climate change is man controlling the weather. That's what's happening. Uh, when you can't get people to look at the evidence, then you just have a really lazy, sloppy, um, programmed population. And those are the people who destroy us all. And we have a lot of them. And that's why I say nothing's going to stop this because these are the people who are pushing all of the lies. They're the useful idiots of the liars. And I'm telling you, I, I just, look, we've already seen the escalation of weather being used as a weapon. We've seen farms destroyed. We've seen so many homes flooded out over and over again throughout the years. Throughout the years. 2020, every year, every year it has escalated and now, uh, it's like, it's nonstop. It's overwhelming. So, um, everybody gets impacted by this. Everyone. Everyone. Um, 
I want to first show you this. An afternoon of thunderstorms whipping up a water spout. That water spout briefly moving on shore to become a twister and leaving a lot of scattered debris in its wake. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juwan Strait. And I'm Jackie Nesprall. Let's get right out to NBC6 reporter Alyssa Hyman with more on what caused it. Alyssa. Yeah, and there's still a decent amount of debris down in this area. The videos from all the viewers are absolutely stunning. And while we're used to seeing water spouts here in South Florida, our in-house expert tells us it's a lot less common for those water spouts to come on land and become a tornado. I go this way. Tornado touches down. It was an unbelievable sight Wednesday afternoon. I started seeing uh, chairs flying in the air. A water spout spotted off the coast of Golden Beach. Viewer video showing it moving on shore. 30 seconds of the strongest wind I've ever seen. Snapping trees, tossing furniture, even taking down a metal gate. My heart was racing. And I, you know, I was really scared for my life. I thought I, I thought I was going to fly away. And while water spouts are fairly common here, South Florida's chief meteorologist John Morales told me it's more unusual for the water spout to come on shore. The actual thunderstorm spinning, and from that spin in the thunderstorm, we saw the funnel cloud drop onto the water. Because it hit water first, it was first a water spout, but then. If it strikes land, that's when it becomes a tornado. Well, the All right. Um, I'm sorry for the volume. That's as loud as I could make it. But you can click on the link and you can watch everything yourself. Um, okay. Rare for a water spout to come on land and become a tornado. Now, there wasn't massive damage, but there was some. And um, please, I have a playlist of over 250 videos on weather modification, how man can create everything that we are seeing. So please don't leave that stupid comment. Oh, you're a nut job. You're a conspiracy theorist. You only reveal how unbelievably stupid and dangerous you are especially since we're at 2020 and weather has been used as a weapon to destroy an awful lot of people all over the world only increasing year after year i mean my god what the hell is wrong with people who think this is just crazy when weather has been used in vietnam uh, and you think military, militaries around the world are going to give up weather as a weapon? We heard President Johnson say, and who controls the weather controls the world. JFK was talking about weather modification. Nothing gets through to people. These are the people who are so dangerous because they will do nothing to help us fight this war. Nothing. You know, this was a video. Apparently it went viral all over the world and these two people who were sitting on their balcony watching this water spout, uh, filming it and talking and uh, yeah, it's... We saw it from so many angles, but none with a kind of color commentary like this. Holy sh Evelyn! Evelyn, come here, quick! This is Evelyn. And while we were watching it, it was erupting like a geyser in Yellowstone. And this is Sandy, whose Wednesday afternoon pastrami sandwich was interrupted by the sight of this tornadic water spout off Golden Beach. Holy cow! From the balcony of their Aventura condo. I call for my wife to come out thinking she never saw a water spout before. Evelyn! He was right, and listen to the results. You saw like houses flying up. What? You saw the roofs of houses there going Where up. Where did they go? Up the beach? Yeah. Oh my God. Listening to the well, blums, it sounded like a scene from The Wizard of Oz. You uh, were explaining things. Yeah, but yet she knows better anyway. She wanted to make sure I got the whole cone. Did you do the whole spout up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm the director. 
The balcony play-by-play went viral. The Blums had no idea they'd gone insta-famous. We showed them the Twitter deluge, now dubbed Bubby Cam. Bubby, Yiddish slang for grandma. <laughs> Somehow they even picked up that we were Jewish. Huh? Is that what? <laughs> somehow, somehow we picked up they were Jewish. All right, yeah. Um, all of you who write the comments that have that psyche that shows me how hateful you are towards one group of people, you leave comments like that, you will be blocked. I don't want it. I don't want to see it. I'm sick of it. I'm so tired of people who are so unbelievably deranged. Um, But roofs, roofs flying up the beach. Well, you can um, take a look at a whole lot of videos. I will link below to this site. It's uh, a local Florida news site. And this guy out on the boat is, well, talking about the water spout before it became a huge water spout, went inland, and they, on their boat, drive very close to it, talking about the waves. Damn, that's blind all the way over there. I just can't zoom in, it's not letting me. Right up Look at it. Oh my god, that is... Uh, Did you just get it? No. <gasps> I think I, we need to go away from it. Here. I wish this thing would right. zoom in. Hey, where's your phone? We're playing with God. <laughs> All right, you can watch the full five minutes if you want to. They're not playing with God. They're playing with man, using weather as a weapon. If they can, with electromagnetic frequencies, move about air masses, decide where they want the jet stream to go, and all of this is documented, and there's a tremendous amount of evidence out there that they are doing just that, It's not God. They can create whirlwinds. I have videos on it. They can create tornadoes. There are patents that go through what they can do with electromagnetic frequencies to create whirlwinds to intensify or to um, uh, decrease you know, the intensity of whirlwinds and tornadoes. I'm sorry guys, it's 2020. People need to wake up, and if they do not wake up, they are dead. Oh, they're still walking about, but they're dead, empty souls, and they are a danger to all of us. So the most important piece of information I have here is delivered from Deborah Tavares, who has asked for your prayers because she is once again once again she lives in Santa Rosa and she's once again having to deal with the fires it's a hard time it's a hard time But if there is anything that you can do to get out of the coastal areas, because they are going to bring about destruction, everything has escalated. So do not for one minute think you will be spared. Don't. I've been listening to news clips of people talking 
having evacuated their homes in California. What are they talking about? They're saying, I never thought, I never thought it would be me. The invincibility, we Americans never gave it up. You know, the invincibility of the teenager that can take a risk and, you know, feel nothing about it because they think that they're just not going to be harmed. You have to give it up. Because we've seen hurricanes inland develop and tornadoes in Minnesota. Twelve tornadoes in Minnesota just a couple of days ago or last week. You see the flooding happening. But I left Katrina. I left because of Katrina. I lived in New Orleans. So I moved to Baton Rouge, and I specifically moved to a non-flood zone, and got flooded. I had interviews on Kafka Winston World, because I drove to Baton Rouge to see it for myself, and it was horrifying, and talking to one man who lived in his home with his family. He escaped New Orleans because of Katrina. His home flooded out there. Then he's home uh, thinking that he's safe in a non-flood zone, and he's not. Once again, flooded out. No one is safe now. And yes, Johnson was right. Who controls the weather controls the world and controls every aspect of all of our lives. All links are below.